This is a short overview of temperature scales. The Celsius or centigrade scale is defined between the freezing temperature of water at zero degrees Celsius and the boiling temperature of water at 100 degrees Celsius. Here are some example temperatures on this scale. The reference temperatures for the Fahrenheit scale are 32 degrees Fahrenheit for the freezing temperature of water and 212 degrees Fahrenheit for its boiling point. Here are the typical temperatures for the same examples. The Kelvin scale is not commonly used in everyday life. Rather, it has uses in scientific or engineering applications. It uses the same temperature intervals as the Celsius scale, but its zero point is fixed at physical absolute zero. It is related to the Celsius scale with 273.15 Kelvin equivalent to zero Celsius. Here are some scientifically relevant temperatures on the Kelvin scale. To calculate the temperature in Fahrenheit from a temperature in Celsius, first multiply by the scale factor between the two scales, 9 Fahrenheit degrees to 5 Celsius degrees and then add 32 degrees Fahrenheit to the result. Try out plugging in for a typical room temperature for 20 degrees Celsius. The answer will be 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's try it in the other direction. The temperature in degrees Celsius will be given by The temperature in degrees Fahrenheit minus 
32 degrees Fahrenheit and then multiply that by the scaling factor of 5 Celsius degrees for every 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's try on the example of average human body temperature. This is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you use the conversion formula correctly, you will get a result of 37 degrees Celsius. The conversion between Celsius and Kelvin is a lot simpler. Because the scaling factor between the two scales is 1 Kelvin for every Celsius, you just need to add the offset of 273.15 Kelvin. If you try this out on the example of typical room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, you will get 293.15 Kelvins. While you are welcome to practice with answers given to you by online tools, it is still recommended that you practice hand calculating with a calculator so you understand the conversion.